just thought I'll talk about censorship and about the web series. Basically what's happening on Twitter right now, right? They're saying to boycott the show Patal. I haven't seen the series as such. But the thing is, I can see the underlying issue at hand here. So, censorship has been a problem in our country for ages right now. And I know the color orange has been making a lot of decisions in this. And uh, <laughs> anything that I'd say right now would be completely sensitive. But I just really wanted to talk about content censorship in general. Look, I don't know what's wrong or right at this point of time. Because there's a lot of things that we can't actually run by philosophies and the culture that we have at hand. Oh, I'm gonna get screwed for this. And now that we're having the advantage of having OTTs, especially like Prime and Netflix, there's a lot of creativity that goes down here. See, I don't have a problem with anyone putting anything inappropriate. The content is always in the hands of the subscriber. But what we see is that people are actually against the show because of the Hindu phobia it's indirectly hitting. Basically just attacking all religious ethics. For a country that just spends a lot of time just censoring a lot of movies, it's kind of pissing off for a lot of people. I get it. Because me, the person who watches the movie, would like to see a very uncensored version of The Wolf of Wall Street. But no, that is out of the question. But we can't do much, right? It's the law of the land. On the other hand, when we've got OTTs, and these weren't primarily built or founded in India, okay? They only have the licenses to distribute it to the countries. But then again, I think that the definition of inappropriate content is just gone. Because there's shows like Mirza, which just showcases violence, and that's not appropriate for kids. But we all know that kids are actually watching this stuff. So is violence a construct or is sex a construct that we should be looking at? People are even going to the extent and saying that there's a lot of pornographic content. Which app is this? I gotta know. Pornography culture itself is damn weird, man. Do you remember when Lust Stories came out? Other than the part that we were all horny dudes and we just wanted to see some, there was a lot of backfire about it. I mean, it was kind of not appropriate for the public. But then again, Netflix sells its content based on certain line thoughts, sex, nudity, and they convert it into an absolute beautiful story. And then we completely forget about it towards the end. Yeah, so probably this issue might die the same way that a lot of issues in our country are. Last a day or two, and then forget about it. It's all a creative display, right? We're not actually trying to hurt any community out there. But the understanding, again, all comes down to context. And as I always say, it's just about the context, right? So have they said it right? I don't know. And now I have to go and watch some uncensored stuff. <laughs> no, it's just washing the dishes.